Welcome back to the Gold League for World of Tanks. I'm Joshua Clutch Gray, joined on the set by Randall Rukel Holcomb. And after our halftime show, it's time for the final three matches up tonight. The first match will be top tier versus Hammer Time. Both these gentlemen, both these teams are 4-1. and one, And the only loss they've both incurred is from Fulcrum Game. Hmm. So, win from here means you're going to the top eight. They're going to the finals. Pretty much. Big night for both these teams. What and happens to the loser, though? Well, the loser will be four and two, and so they'll have one more match to go. Okay. And, um, and you're pretty much in, but a team uh, could tie up with you. Four, four and two, a tiebreaker could happen. Yeah. And then from the tiebreaker, if you lose the tiebreaker, uh, you're out. If you win the tiebreaker. Well, no, if you lose the tiebreaker, you're in probably, it looks like, fourth, because. Uh, hammer time top tier with 12. Then you Simple play, tankers then you with you have nine. to play the playoffs. Yeah, but then the playoffs, you, you can could, lose, but you, you could get knocked out. You could. Yeah. Could. We want to throw all the possibilities of getting knocked out yeah. out the window. But right you're now. not out yet no. at that point. No. Yeah. You just want to throw the possibilities. It just, it just puts you in danger. Yes. Yes. They want to get out of that danger zone. All right. Face offs ready. Top tier versus hammer time. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Hello. Palacio. People are saying that this is going to be an uphill climb for you guys against Hammer Time. Hammer Time's been performing well. Do you feel the same sentiment? Do you think this is the biggest matchup besides Fulcrum Gaming for you guys this season? Oh, yeah, for sure. Honestly, right now, I think Hammer Time might be the second best team in the bracket A. And if we can beat Hammer Time, that will kind of make us the second be best team in the bracket A and probably the third best team in the league. So, you know, beating them would be a really good accomplishment for us. Hammer Time, this is a huge match for both your teams. This is probably one of the biggest night matches of the night because if you win this out, you're going to the finals again. What what does this mean for your team? Is this is this scary or is this exhilarating for you? I don't think it's really either. I just want to get it done, get to the finals. It's not. Uh, I don't think like we're nervous or scared or exhilarated or anything like that. Just we want to get it done and just you know. Be ready to go. Right. Sounds like a soldier, ready to just do his job. All right, well, Dryness, do you have any words for Valacio from top tier before we start this battle? Oh, just good luck. Right. Valacio, any words? Uh, we're going to use I-6s. Oh. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. Well, he says it in the face-off. It must come true. Hammer time. You have the higher seed. Heads or tails? <coughs> Excuse me. Heads or tails on the coin flip? Tails. Tails. It never fails. It and does it, this it time. It's, yeah, it's a lot of heads tonight. Top tier. Map choice or defer? Mines. Mines for the first map. Hammer time. What will be your spawn position? That's a good question. Let me think about it for a second. All right, let him confer do, with his own do, do, conscience do, do, and his team. Do, do, do. Do, 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 We'll play north. North side for hammer time on mines. Top tier will take the south. Gentlemen, congratulations so far in the season, and we wish you the best of luck tonight and the rest of the week. Thank you. Right, thank you. And there you have it. IS6s. Valacia already throwing the gauntlet down. Okay. Saying they're going to be used. I was playing with the IS6 for some experimentation and looking at the hard stats. Mm -hmm. Armor values, uh, not as good as an IS3. Certainly, yeah. The penetration, not as good as an IS-3. The reload rate, better than an IS-3, ah. but less than a second, though. No. So the trade-off, it's tough. But you, we were talking about this. It's um, how the how the armor is angled people may not be as used to or something. Yeah. This, it's, it's, it's just the, the actual tank presence people are not used to yeah and it has spaced armor on over the tracks so if you can get the angle going right on the with your sides you can make it work mm. reverse angling don't works just fine you're still gonna bounce shells here and there but i think once if players know how to play against it they're gonna shut it down the turret can be penned pretty easily yeah it's not a hemispherical uh, turret compared to the is3 yeah it's it just it won't perform as well it just i don't think it will uh they could make it work it it moves okay um it puts out the damage, and if you g generally with those 122s, if you're just rolling around brawling and you brawl correctly, it doesn't matter if you have the IS3 or the or the IS6. You're just gonna blow things up, and you're gonna have a great time if you're making hits land. Before we get this started, a quick reminder to please follow us on Twitter at WGLNA and send us 
what gun, any gun you would put on your tank. We had Keith Grimmer on Twitter sent us in a post. He says this should work, I think. T1 Cunningham and the Hunter Killer from Terminator. I won't want to face it. Well, well done, sir. That's I like it. That's scary. <laughs> I think this could actually lift up the T1 Cunningham and fly around. So well done. We'll send you a code. Thanks for your submission. Also like the Peter Griffin Che uh, <laughs> poster as part of his Twitter background. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. But mines. Tell me about mines, Randall. Mines. We've been seeing this a lot. That that hill push, guys. Right up to the hill. New meta. Right at the beginning. We see a fight somewhere at the entrance of the hill. Looking for blocking. That's what I'm looking for if we see that fight happen. Otherwise, we could see North Spawn head off to the water and uh, and then some hill being taken by the South team. I don't, I'm not really sure what we're going to see out of these teams. However, both of them have done before some hill play. No surprises there if we see them meet in the middle. Yeah. And top tier. Any oh, indications from tanks yet? Which we had talked about. 1390 so far from... Overlord, Drynets, NYP from uh, Hammer Time. Not yet from top tier. They're not revealing the tanks yet. And they do have 90 seconds once the map choice is uh, complete from the admin to choose their maps. Well, he's got mines there. What? I see <laughs> I see IS6s. What? <laughs> no. Yeah, IS6s. Yeah, four <laughs> of them. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All top right. tier. They mm. And it's in. We're in battle. They weren't joking. Fellatio called it out. They're going IS6. And I don't even know what's sick. going on. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here, uh, folks. You should be too. I don't. Even, I don't even know. I'd let's think. let's start the battle. Please. Battle number one on mines. Hammer time versus top tier. I'm I'm baffled right now, Clutch. They really did it. Look at it, guys. Four IS sixes and a WC one thirty two. Uh, memory leaks in that one. And on the other side, fifty one hundred, two T sixty nines, two thirteen nineties. Guess where? Guess where Hammer time's going? It's probably to the hill. But yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a good guess. It's a, it's a <laughs> solid guess. It's a solid guess. Yeah, but where well, are those IS6s going? That's wh the mystery. Which, which IS6 do I focus on? That's the hardest question of the night for me. Well, I'll focus on memory. Choose the one in the lead. Memory leak from WZ132. Where is he going to go? Oh, he's going east. Are, are they going east? Like he's cruising east. No, IS6 is not committing east yet. Where, where are they going? Um, they're, they're, are they they're going, going up, the hill? They're going towards the hill. So Blind Banana and Valatio are pushing up. Yeah, they, they are going towards the... Oh, they went into a blind spot. Oh, I get it. Okay, they went into the blind spot of the hill. 1390's opening run onto the hill. Can't spot that. Now they're going to do surprise attack, I think. I hope. Please let it just be a surprise blitz right up the hill. Oh, that would be the most amazing thing. six is Valatio in the front, cruising up. T1's memory leak cruising way to the east here. They don't see anything. Valatio has been spotted. Oh, there's Vichy. a 1390 he's seen. Now Sublime Banana, everyone. Neander takes up two big, oh. big hits against the 1390. She's hurting. She's got to get out of the 341 of 1100. Oh, oh shot fired against Valacio, though. That's amazing. They can take the hill, I think, with this. Oh, they're going to move slow. And look, those T69s can, can get to the sides. Shot fired from Valacio into photo finish. Sublime Banana takes the hit. But this allows E63, M6, and Uber Litchie to push up. T69 still low in Sublime Banana. And now they're pushing up. Zazi in the 1390s on the run from Valacio. Uberlichi takes down the end here, and Zazi falls to the ground. NYPD has taken some hits. Zazi getting unloaded upon. He's just going in. He's going right at E63, down to 361. One more hit should take him down. E63, though, is taking a lot of damage. Will he get it off? Nine. Oh, he, he gets the shot off just in time. But it's Zazi. Oh. Zazi not able to escape. Uberlichi with the snapshot gets the kill. <laughs> and look at this. It's a base race almost between the two. You gotta be kidding me. This is actually working. IS6s are actually working. They're just bullying them out of position. And now, NYPD photo finisher in the low ground. They will be able to find Memory Lake. Memory Lake out in the open, puts a shot in NYPD, but it's gonna take one hit. Another hit. Oh, Possibly a sees third. a T69 from far away. Nice shot, 433 damage. Oh, NYPD but. takes down Bastaz, though, in T1. However, he's down three shots of Valacio in the he's consistent empty. fire IS-6 code. Come on, I mean, here's Uber Litchie in his IS-6 unloading on the T-69. He misses the shot, though. Photo finish takes down McBlack in the T-1. Randall, I, I can't believe it, but it's working so far. Uh, maybe However, not. Three tanks on the south oh, cap. It's tough. They it's could tough. actually get it. Can they They're get 24 there in time? seconds left. There's an IS-6 on the way, but I don't think he's going to make it there in time. No, I, I, 
I don't think an I-6 has the speed to make it back. Uh, 15 seconds They may left. have one in the north, yes, but Hammer Time might just count, cap them out. Nine, eight, uh, there's... There's maybe a chance that he gets it, but um, I have my doubts. The WZ-132 could have been really useful here just for a suicide could run, have. but that's it. Hammer Time gets <laughs> the flag cap. Uh, wow. The thing about bullies is bullies are slow. And so you're able to get in there, and get the flag cap, almost like getting into that bully's house and stealing that peanut butter sandwich. His Why mom would you go them. into his house? Uh, he's, that's you counter being the bully. It's like a neighborhood bully. You know, he's like he's like part of the group of friends. He's still kind of a jerk. Breaking and entering is totally cool. If no, I mean you hang out at his house sometimes, and his mom's got the back door open. You hang out at the bully's it. house. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just you're saying not, you're not riding this. You are not riding this. Uh, this this way parallel world of <laughs> of tanks. I'm just not getting it. What are you doing at the bully's house? Are you the bully? No. I don't know, man. I've maybe said four or five unkind things to people in my life, and it makes me feel terrible. Couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Clutch is the bully, everyone. Hammer time. Able to get that win due to a flag cap. Well done. Using the weakness of Valacio's team against them because of their tank choice, IS-6 is not that fast. Yeah, that but fast. they just went straight at them. They, yeah. they really did yeah. win as far as damage uh, goes, but unfortunately, just, I don't know. They just decided to cap them out. That was the call. The 5100 just left the fight. He like just straight up left. That was a minute or two before the fight actually even started, before the IN-6 even pushed. 5100 went to the flank. I think Hammer Time saw that one coming. They think I think they saw the IS-6 push coming. They saw the WZ push coming into the all-in by top tier. And when you just all-in, some you leave your cap open. That's just what happens when you all-in. Rovka will be the next battle, the next map that is chosen. They've already started the cap down, so we'll stay with them. IS-6 is on Prohorovka. Uh, please no. No, they're not gonna. They're not gonna try to steal the sandwich from the bully's house this time. No, right. I don't think so. All right. No. I thought it. Nah, that parable wasn't very strong, guys. I've done better. You've done you've, better. you've done better work in the past. I've done better. You can do better, Clutch. I believe in you. I know, but think of something. I'm I'm sick. It's okay. Ex I don't make excuses. <laughs> don't, no, no. It it doesn't make you look better. Just come up with a better one, <coughs> and let me. us know when it happens. All right. Okay. Right. Just, just I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on one from you for the last six months. Though. No, it's okay. I don't need to do one. That's not my job. <laughs> Your job is to make the parallels and tell the no, story. No, I get to see it every night. We do the seven by forty-two. So that's seven by forty-two. I'm really chill show. right now. I'm just <laughs> in a really good mood. I'm relaxed. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm gonna tell people about seven forty-two. Hey guys, let's make a video. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna tell you guys chill out right here, just like this. Yeah, I was pretty chill. Yeah. I mean, you have to you have to play cool when you play seven by forty-two because if you play really high strung, oh, the six will happen, man. Yeah. Six will happen. Yeah, when I when I go home, I'm much chiller than I'm than I am up here. Mm -hmm. I just get to relax, be at home, get my nice comfy chair, sit down, cup of tea, just play some tanks, blow some people up, and just relax. Yeah. Listen to my music. It's, it's, all good. it's fun. It's that's, fun. So that's it that's what I go so home fun. and play tanks. Well, these guys, they're not as relaxed, I would say, because they're playing for a hundred thousand dollar prize pool. And if I was playing for a hundred thousand dollar prize pool, mm, uh, I don't know if I'd be having my slippers on and a cup of tea. But hey, you know what, people have different approaches, and they can perform under pressure in different ways, and that's what matters. What matters in the end is the performance. And so far, Hammer Time has one win over Valacio's team top tier. Can they continue the streak of winning against them with their odd tanks? I don't know, man, because what type of tanks did they bring? Well, I'm, I don't think you'll be surprised when you see this oh, top tier. Brings three T32s. Look at this. Two WZ-132s. And on the other side, Hammer Time's got four 1390s and a T69. So um, I am flattered. I'm <laughs> they did this last the time. They do this every time. They clutch. do. They have. And you know another team that did this against uh, Navi was Mouse Sports, and it won. It, it, it won on the map. Straight up? Straight when up. When was this? This was during the NVIDIA GeForce tournament. No way. Yeah. Wow. Three T32s on Pro Horovka, and they were able to win out the match because and WC of... And WZ-132s? The consistor... F I don't remember the WZ-132s. I remember the T32s. Um, but Probably. because of the consistent fire and the higher HP values and also the hold down position, they were able to get that win. And they still lost the series, but it was very exciting. Here comes a blitz for 1390s up and over. Here they go. They find you for Litchie and E63. They stop. Zero. And they don't find a target. They miss a lot of misses on Uber Litchie. Only one connects. They refocus on E63. 
No B is taking all the damage. Down to eight. Yeah, he's taking a lot of hits on that hall. Make those shots count. T 1390s. Wow, that took way longer than it should that have. That took a lot of shots to take down that T32, man. That was like William Defoe in Platoon. So many shots. He, yeah, he got shot a lot in that movie. Yeah. He just sits there for a while. Great film. Just uh, running in the helicopter overhead. Yeah. Let's get that helicopter shot with William Defoe. Uh, Valacio on the T32. Is he able to get this shot on the T69? He changes targets. Memory leaks almost down, though. He's going to take some hits. You've got to focus, Valacio. He pushes down, trying to get away from the fire on the right, and he gets the kill. Nice work by Valacio. Forward is the only direction in that sense. And now Sublime Banana moving forward towards the east against those tanks. Well, Zazzy and Drynitz need to get out of here. They're slowly losing that window to escape. Zazzy does not take hits, but Drynitz is down to 777. Oh, Zazzy does take a hit. I jinxed him. And they're just going to start escaping. Hammer Time doesn't have the health pool to deal with this. And Memory Lake makes a sick shot through some buildings way downtown. Makes a connection. That 1390 is toast. Not Valacio on the chase, but they're going for the fly cap again. Slower moving T32s will be able to get there in time if they go for the flight right now. But the value of HP so low. Uper Litchi, 86. Memory Leak, 103. Well, they show he's alright. 1088. Sublime Banana hasn't been hit yet. Baxtaz, ooh, 38. On the fly cap to the north. Multiple tanks now moving in. Mick Black and Uper Litchi in the WZ-132 going for the flag cap. And they're going to have that advantage since they started the cap sooner. But Overlord Prime is coming in. He's got a lull tractor. He could consistently pen these 1390s, maybe get a kill or two. That would be huge. Oh, nope. Uber he Litchi's finds Uber Litchi. Find him, and Uber oh. Litchi kills him. WZ-132 continuing to move. He could have gotten it, too. If he'd made two connections, Overlord oh. Prime would have gotten a kill or two. That would have been oh, awesome. That would have been great. But, no. And now 1390s are just going to rush forward 15 seconds. They won't be able to get back in time. T32s are there. And uh, top tier is actually going to win this one. Yep, yep. Very surprised. I, I just I feel like these lineups are gimmicky, but they're making it work sometimes. It, it, it's only crazy if it doesn't work. And that's it. Top tier ties up the series. One and one. Exciting matchup so far between these two teams. Malaysia saying we're bringing IS6 as they do. They win the brawl mode, but they lose in the flag cap. Three T-32s, they win the flag cap, tying up the series. They're just playing different lineups and yeah. making it work this time. Interesting. It's, they're the only team in the league that brings three T-32s and two WZs to Pro Roca. Only team that brings highest sixes to mines. Uh, just crazy stuff. Well, let's find out what else we're going to have if we take a uh, quick commercial break. Top tier versus Hammer Time continues after this. Welcome back to the Gold League for World Tanks. We are almost ready for battle number three of top tier versus hammer time so far. And the crowd is <laughs> enjoying the top tier choices. Yep. Uh, that day Mewok says it's a moral victory. A moral victory. For Even the though they don't actually win the battle, they they won right where, he, right where it counts. Right they there. won the hearts and minds of the people watching. Mm -hmm. And maybe Soviet, <laughs> for a second, just a second thought, Mm, no. <laughs> he, no, he doubted. He doubted Hammer Time. It was funny. I'm looking at Chad. He's like, Hammer Time made the wrong call. <laughs> and then like, and then I guess our Chad like, what now, Soviet? What now? And he's like, now they did it right. And I was yeah. like, God, Soviet, why can't you just be all indignant? Hey. IS-3, best yeah. tank in space. Yeah. It's amazing. Tank in space. All right. Himmelsdorp is going to be the third map in this tied-up series one-to-one. -one. Who's going to take it? What type of tanks are they going to bring? Let's find out. Let's battle. It's okay, Clutch. No surprises this time. Actually, unless you consider them bringing normal tanks a surprise. That in is which case, this is a surprise. I am surprised. All right. So they're actually bringing 110, 3, 5100s, and IS-3. Pretty straightforward strat. The other side, hammer time. 2, 5100, 3, IS-3. So alpha, right going there. Two uh -huh. The alpha versus burst. There's actually some, uh, an argument someone made. We forget about in DPM that everyone starts loaded usually. So the DPM actually kind of increases for uh, tanks with high alpha because they get that first shot off. Assuming they can get an extra bit of damage. Yes. Then you start yes. It's a spike, but then you look at the long tail for that minute, and it goes more to the burst. Yeah. It depends. Uh, it's just those IS-3s have to miss a shot. But they get that initial burst, which is really nice. Yes. That initial alpha, I should say, not burst. Burst, we're talking about autoloaders. Yeah. We're talking about alpha. boom, 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 reload. Yeah. <laughs> That's burst, burst, we're talking about tanks like the IS-3. An amazing well, objective. IS-3, the Valacio, and Sublime Banana. Uh, Valacio on the 110 is flying with the IS-3. Hanging back at the flag cap, just playing super, super passive. Wow, that is a really defensive strat from top tier. 
They are hanging way back. I think Drydix uh, is uh, maybe going to find it. Uh, no, wait, it's going to take him a while to find it. I think he's just trying to play the concerned route of the flag cap, a fast flag cap coming out of Hammertown. Let me head on over to Mick Black, MC Black, in the T1. Who's he going to see? He's going to see Zazi in the other T1. Now, if he wins this T1 battle, Zazi will not spot Zazi, the 5100, or did he already? Zazzy, keep your gun pointed in the right direction. He's facing the wrong way. Go MC McBlack. Black's gonna go, get free damage. Go. Oh, tip, boop. oh, no. 10 HP. He's able to escape. Tell mm -hmm. his friends where they are. Not good. Well, he has to give up position on the hill. He has to give it up. And because of that, there's going to be a push actually happening. Wow, yeah. down and the 8 line. Backstabs will see NYPD. all of these tanks. NYPD using that 5100 shot. Tank Alley is in complete possession of Hammer Time, and they're going to continue the push. But they're walking into a concave. There's two tanks to their west, two, uh, three tanks to their east. If they make it up to the the Bravo Road, they could find themselves in the crossfire. And Drynitz will be the first tank to possibly find himself there. He's going to move to reverse angle, but there could be tanks behind him. Vilecio and Sublime Banana are spotted by Kriegsmaster, who will be taken down. m 6 and the 5100 waiting. Oh, they recognize this position. They're getting out. So they better get out. Hammer time. Run. Mm, where's MC Black? Yeah, he's checking out the back of the base to put some flag pressure on. But that, how? What does that accomplish for for top tier? They're not really spotting much. They just deflected the aggression of yeah. Hammer Time. That's enough. They will kill Creeps. Yeah, of course, it's enough for now. For now. Yeah. But uh, Hammer Time can easily readjust. They can just go slightly west. Ooh, Zazi. Oh no! Oh no! Mick Black is on fire. Will he survive? He will. Nice close. He is spotted. Shot could have gone out, but he's going to be on cap. That will force Hammer Time to fall all the way back, and behind them should be top tier. Good move. They are going to push up. Photo finish will lead the way towards cap, but they're going to be out in the open, which I expected. And least Memory Leak has a beautiful shot of 5100, but he misses and hits one of the light posts. Now that one hits, and there's Uber Litchie. This is huge. Unloading into the sides. Nice hit again, trying to lock down that 5100. But Neander is uh, kind of just stops for a moment. Photo finish now take it, takes hits down to 596. Uh, they may have spread the damage, uh, but it's really only salvaging this situation, which is not looking too good. Now Neander and Photo finish are very easy to kill. Ooh, but Neander e misses a shot on E63, yeah. and so does Photo finish. Uh, Overlord Prime gets a hit, though. Nice turnaround by Overlord Prime. Neander falls to Uber Litchie. Shot through the corner, and Sublime Banana pushed up in the IS3 for some proxy spotting as well. And now he gets even closer to guard the 5100. And this is a nice pincer attack. Valatio pushing in in the 110. Taking a little bit of damage, though. Covered by, uh, he's not actually being covered by anyone anymore. Valatio's got someone behind him, 5100. But Valatio should be able to get the next hit into photo finish to finish him off. Uh, dryness was covering that, though. Doing a good job covering his battle blade. They're doing a great job of uh, sharing, but... Nice shot by Valatio. He takes a little bit of damage, and he falls to Drynitz. But E63 M6 and Sublime Banana pushing in. Overlord Prime trying to stop him here. Trying to keep NYPD alive in that 5100. E63 M6. Will he push past the IS-3 and go for the 5100? Looks like it. Yes. Shot fired trades. NYPD is able to hit against M E63 M6. Sublime Banana trying to block the IS-3, but it falls. But the 5100s are able to lock down NYPD. Memory Sublime leak. Banana still left alive. Memory Leak doing a great job of getting a shot onto NYPD. He is facing off versus Drynus. He decides to go for the more important target, the focus of everyone. And, and that's it. Top tier takes battle number three and one battle away from closing out the series and making it into the top eight. This is huge for top tier. New team to the league, led by Valacio, who was a member of... Uh, Nerf. I wanna, yes. Nerf. Okay, I keep was, thinking it was Pub Stars. Was it? It was Nerve, right? I, f I feel horrible. He joined. He was there for uh, the finals. Yeah. One of the teams left, made his own team, and now they could be top eight. There you go. That's, That's incredible. Uh, we actually have a replay of those shots. Now I want to take a look at those and show you guys exactly what happened. Now we're going to start at the beginning of this, where we had fire, awesome fire from top tier in the open. Hammer time is in the o is in flight. They're just leaving, and it's. Just not looking good. It, it, they're just taking a lot of damage. Neander takes a lot of hits. Got IS-3 getting whittled down as well. The lead for top tier is great right now. And they've got a T1 in the backfield. Now, they're going to play around a lot. This T1 does eventually go down. 
There we go, right then. And the, uh, the tier eight will rejoin the group, but this allows top tier to more easily get into the positions they want. And as we fast forward, we're gonna get more into the fight. We can see this pincer movement. We got three tanks that cannot escape. There's no retreat for them that is safe. And Valacio does a great job of getting the correct IS-3 down. But here's the thing. He's going to pay for killing that IS-3. He goes down. Of course, he took enough damage that he probably was going down anyway. So he might as well get the right tank killed. Take out a gun for hammer time. Now, we got this great pincer movement. And from the south, there's actually 5100 that, cl that killed another tier 8. Great crossfire on that position. Memory Leak does a great job of ignoring this IS-3 and going for NYPD who was the last 5100 to go down. And because of that, just better focus fire worked out great for top tier. Very well played. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. We come back, battle number four of top tier versus hammer time. Stay tuned, the Gold League continues after this. Welcome back to the Gold League. Top tier is up two to one over hammer time. Top tier wins it, they will have five wins, pretty much guaranteeing them to make it into the top eight. This is big. Palacio was a member of NERV back in the last season. And the quietest of the bunch for all those guys. Because were a lot of fun to learn the phrase show up and blow up from them. Yeah. That was that was their uh I think they called it their catchphrase or their their motto for that season. I don't remember what this motto is this season. There was something in the uh we have like a chat channel for all of the pros and uh, I think uh they were dropping whatever it was this season. It was something self depreciating. I don't know. I don't remember. Hashtag efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Sufficient. Sufficient. All right, Cliff will be the battle, will be the map. And are we going to see some crazy maps or some crazy tanks, or is it going to be pretty conventional? We'll see. Conventional? Uh, I don't know Not if we sure. call this conventional. But, I mean, what's your take on this? Well, what it's conventional for top tier. I don't know what conventional is anymore. <laughs> TUG32 right, is a T69, 1390, and Valachia on the WZ-132. On the other side, Object 416, T69, and 313-90s. I like the Object 416 on this map. I think it performs well. And if you put it in the right position, it can really deal a lot of damage. Cliff. T32's on Cliff. A little slow to get to their position, so once they do, they can lock down an area for a while. On Uber Litchi in the 1390, leading the charge close to the center. See the lighthouse way in the background. It's a beautiful map, by the way. I really love the, the level design of this game. Yeah, it is a good map. It's been here for a while, too. It's one of the older maps. And uh, for the longest time, it wasn't in the Pro League. But I'm glad they put it back. Big push, though, coming out of 1390s. DeAndre leads the way. Zazzy and NYPD in tow. They will be able to focus on Uber Litchi once they get Where up against the wall. Where are they going? They going straight across the wall? Yeah, it's a great spot to take up, and they're going to get shots into Berlici where the T-32s are not going to be able to return fire. However, when they show up, we could see some tanks blow up Ooh, very, Berlici's in very such early. trouble. But Photo Finish is overwatching this. They're waiting to take down the T-32s. Dry Nits peeks out. E-63 is spotted. And now Photo Finish needs to start peeking out. Photo Finish, start putting damage. And that's it. Uber Litchi falls. And there, E-63 takes the first hits. He is going down. However, there's a big push down the one line. I think that's two T1s going that way. Check. Yep, Agamemnon, Agamemnon, and Baxtaz. They're heading that, that direction. Creekmaster, the T1, unloading a bit, and Agamemnon. Ooh. And he falls back. Baxtaz over returns fire. And now Agamemnon should be reloaded. Nope, Baxtaz is able to clear it up. And that's going to leave the south completely open. And they need to get to that flag cap fast because they're pushing up against these tanks. Valacio takes on NYPD, though. And that, oh, nice shot from Memory Leak. Damage on these and Zazi minutes. falls to Memory Leak as well. Neander, it's just, it's like shooting fish in the barrel. They're continuing to chase this T69. She's taking a lot of damage. However, she'll probably be reloaded before Memory Leak is. And now she's unloading into Memory Leak. He's going for the brawl mode. Just up close and personal. Still less than 20 seconds left for him to reload. Another oh. shot from Neander. Is she out? One, she's got two more. No, she's, she's got good. one more. 189 HP left for her. Earlier. Late show, T32 battling out with photo finish. Fires, he gets out of there in the WZ-132 very quickly. But can the T69 catch up in time? He'll be reloaded shortly, I'm sure. Although, Palacio can still try up. Oh, nope. Goes. And he Blue base under attack, 24 seconds left. Photo finish is in route. T32s are a bit slow. I don't know if they're going to be able to get there in time. No, but between Neander and photo finish, I think they could do this. Neander's got the mobility. Photo finish, medium tank, very potent, great burst. And those T-32s are uh, sublime bananas, completely 
messed up. One or two hits should take him down. Well, T32s are almost getting there in time. T1's just trying to bait him One. out. It's getting close. Photo finish. Can he get it? He's no. Gotta stay alive. That's not it. No, not gonna happen. And they do it. Top tier. Top tier is able to win out against Hammer Time. This is an upset. Big cap pressure. I just sticks it to him for what happened on mines. And they're going to win it. Wow, I'm really surprised. Hammer Time is definitely the favorite to take this. Top tier. Unconventional lineups most of the time. But this time when they brought T32s, I mean, no cons, Clutch. No cons, indeed. Well, folks, when it comes to the world of tanks, the first thing that you have to remember is the positional play when you bring conventional tanks. When you bring the conventional tanks, that is what you're trying to play for. How do you outplay your opponent by your position? Valacio and his team, they outplay their opponent with the position, but also they're bringing something new to the element of 7x42. I like it. Will it stand up to teams such as Fulcrum Gaming or Simp? I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say probably not, because right now, after we just saw that series against Hammer Time, it's a, I don't know. Well, and then Hammer Time and... and but, but is this more of a hammer time loss than a... In Cliff, I was thinking about yeah. that. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it was their loss because 1390s are, are light tanks. They're highly mobile. You don't want to get caught down in a pinned position where you're not able to use your mobility to your advantage. Now, the 1390s, they go for this deep strike right up the middle, and they go right at their opponent. They go and they get one tank down. One 1390 goes down. Yes, mm -hmm. but now you're sitting still with 1390s on a rock. So you've got T-32s that are at, then able to come in. They're big and slow, but your little light tanks aren't moving. Very easy to deal with. Also, Valacio gets on the flank. 1390s just used a lot of shells on a 1390. They kill one, 1390, three of them. They're reloading, or they don't have many shells left. So Valacio gets tons of free damage. And because of that, he does actually 1,894 damage that WZ round. WZ-132. So he really pulls his weight by playing the flank. He doesn't get mm. killed early. He but waits till the later game where he can be in sniping a little bit, getting that free damage and harassing his opponent. And that, I think, is where Hammer Time failed. The fact that they just got surrounded, got bogged down, weren't able to use their 1390s mobility to their advantage. And Valicio and Top Tier are playing to the strengths of their tank lineup. And that's the most important part. That's something that Fulcrum Gaming talked about when they were facing Hammer Time. You know, you want to play your game as a team and match it up against other teams not to try to bring stuff in that's unique or silly or fun or a surprise. You want to play your game. And Top Tier has stayed to that format. As crazy as it is, three T32s on Prohorovka, yeah. they've, stu they've stuck with it. And it's starting to, I think, uh, propel themselves a little bit more forward. They're getting more comfortable with it. Although you saw how three T32s stacked up against Fulcrum. Fulcrum mm -hmm. was able to deflect that and just oh, yeah. shut it down. Yeah. So it works, but it needs improvement. And it, it just a little better play. However, we did see some fantastic play on Prohorovka and out of Valacio in the WZ-132. Just, okay. Yeah. I think top tier can do well. Uh, I don't know if they'd be first place level, but they're they're definitely looking They're top like eight. Definitely. They're top eight, and that's what we're looking for to make it to the finals. Congratulations, top tier. Hammer time now at four and two. They have one more match, and I believe they can make it to the finals as well. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, the next match will be underway, Googly Bobbers versus River of Blood. Stay tuned. This is a Gold League. Gold League.